Okay guys, welcome to a, another tutorial from the RGP services. Sorry if the sound quality is uh, a little bit bad. Um, just that's my deep, sincere sorry. Let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and open Internet Explorer. Let's go to www.google.com. Type in DXT BMP. Now what are we doing is we're going to have to download the DXT BMP tool first. Okay, th click on the third one, which is right here. So click on that. And then you should get this window open. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click download. Which just has all these download stuff. So just download and follow the on-screen instructions. Okay, after that, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, go to navigate to your Microsoft Microsoft uh, where you do where you do where your games are. So go to local disk, program files. Uh, for Windows 7, it's times 86, but some can have just program files. So if you just have program files, click on that. But for other people that have the times 86 or something like that, click on that. Now scroll all the way down to Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, and then go all the way down to Sim Objects. And then you need to go to Airplanes. Now we're going to be doing a Boeing 737, so click on that. Then for your texture, what you need to do is you need to copy this texture one with no number. It has no number. So you need to right click, copy, and then go to your desktop, right click, paste. Okay. Now what you need to do is open up the DXT BMP texture tool. So here it is. What you need to do is find uh this little box right here, I don't know what it would have because uh, I already set mine up. But um, what you need to do is click on this little box and then navigate to your Photoshop folder. So it would be probably on local disk, program fi uh, files times 86 or just regular program files, Adobe. So you need to navigate to Adobe Photoshop, which is right here, Adobe Photoshop. Scroll all the way down, and then there's a click on Photoshop.exe, and then press open. So it's right there. What you need to do is go to File, Open, and then navigate to your desktop, which I'm just going back, and then scroll down a bit. Select the texture folder that you did. You need to select the one that says B737801T, and then press open. Converting. All right. So what you need to do is here it is. I'm gonna scroll down a bit so you can see everything. So see, I don't know what these are. I'm thinking these are the doors. But anyways, there's the plane. So we need to go as image, send to editor, which is gonna open up Photoshop. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to go image, image rotation 180, and it's gonna flip the image for you. Now you need to, where it says background right here, you need to right click, duplicate layer. Okay. If I'm going a bit too fast, you guys can just pause. Okay, what I'm going to do is you're going to click uh, insert a new layer, which is right there. I'm going to put some leaves on the tail. So I'm going to, I'm drawing some leaves on the tail right now. That's all I'm going to do. And then if you want to put a text, just go ahead and t put in some text which I'm going to say RGP services. Why not? Okay, and then when you put it on the plane, what you want to do before uh, you even leave it that way, you need to flip the text. So what you need to do is go to Edit, Free Transform, and then go ahead and uh, flip it. Make sure it's just about the same size as it was before. The only reason you flip it is so that way you can uh, the only reason you flip it is so that way you will be able to uh see it clearly and I'll show you what I'm, I'll show you what that is later. I'll show you what that is a bit later. 
Okay, so now uh, I'm basically done. You guys can put some more fancy stuff on it. You know, you can put a logo on the tail and all this stuff. You need to go to this little tab right here. This little tab right here. And it says flat an image. Then you need to go to image, image rotation, 180. You need to flip the image back to how it was before or it's not going to work. Go ahead and go file. Save as. Navigate to your desk, desk, desktop, and save it as Norm BMP. And save it as Norm BMP. Make sure it says 32 bits, and then press OK. Close Photoshop. Okay, what you need to do is just go back to DXT BMP. Go to File Open. Navigate to your desktop. Open up the Norm BMP. So right now it's opening. Okay, and then what you need to do is go to File, Save As, DDS Texture. Go into the Texture folder, scroll down, type in B737-800, just click on it, and then make sure it says DDS DXT5, and then press Save, and then say Replace. And then you can close that. Okay, what you need to do now is you need to go back to the sim objects airplane 737 where you had it double click on air okay wait before i do anything you see how this says texture 7 you need to name this folder texture 8 so go ahead and rename texture dot 8 and then press enter open up the aircraft file if it doesn't open if it doesn't open you just go right click open with notepad okay and it opens. Scroll down slowly all the way down to the last one. If you see general, you went too far. So see how this this last one okay, you want it to start from right here. Okay, so let's just go all the way back up really fast, I'm sorry. From right here where this quotation marks are, select everything to the top and then go right click copy. Open up a new notepad, right click paste. Okay, now this is where you want to scroll all the way down. And like I said before, if you hit general, you went too far. Okay, see how this last one says 6? This one says 6. So you want to type this one in 7. Okay, for, okay, for the paint, you have to go, since this is 8, you have to click in 8. And then change the texture to 8 as well. The variation would be the name that is going to show up on uh, the flight simulator. So just type, I'm going to type in tutorial aircraft. Okay, and then created by, where it says created by. So you know who it's created by, it's created by you. And then for the description, you can put whatever you want. So the aircraft I made for the tutorial. Tutorial, and then go Control A to select everything. Right click, copy, and then over here where the six is, right here where this blank space is, hit Enter twice. One, two. Click this middle middle area right here, and then go right click, paste, and then File Save. Now, hang on one second. Now, if it doesn't let you save, just go File Save As. And then go to your desk, go to your desktop, and then press save. And then you could just see it's right here on your desktop. Just go ahead and move it in, move and replace. That's for me. Okay. Now what you want to do is see this texture file. You need to move it into this folder, and there it is. So then go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and open Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Go to current aircraft and change it. Scroll down to the aircraft. You gotta look for it because we I didn't change the thumbnail by accident. There it is. It says tutorial aircraft, and you want to press details so we can take a look at it. And there it is.